So here's a discussion that uh, that happens quite often, and it's why would someone turn out their toes or widen their feet when going into a squat, and is that a bad thing? Well, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but we want to understand what's going on and why it happens. So generally, not generally, when we go into a squat, the femurs are going to internally rotate within the movement. So as we go down into the squat, those femurs are internally rotating, so turning inside as we go down through that motion. Now there's a lot of, uh, a lot of intrinsic hip muscles and the glutes that are going to affect their ability to internally rotate. So if they don't have room to internally rotate, what is going to happen is that the body is going to compensate by widening the feet. So now when I've widened the feet, I've created external rotation within the femur, so they're turning outside, which allows me more room for internal rotation. So it allows the glutes to fire a little bit more and it allows a wider range of motion because it's gonna create the ability to internally rotate. What we wanna make sure though is that under body weight conditions, that the body has enough mobility to go through a full range of motion squat without having to turn the toes out or widen the feet. Now, if you can do that, then turning the toes out and widen the feet turns into an opportunity for more glute recruitment. So if you're trying to go for heavy, heavy squats, it can be a great thing. But first, we want to make sure that we can maintain leverage and control the movement through body weight only.